I believe it is in our nature to explore, to reach out into the unknown. The only true failure would be not to explore at all. Sir Ernest Shackleton. He spent a lifetime taking on the Antarctic as a great explorer and as a glorious failure. Shackleton's dream was to be the first to cross the Antarctic. But within a month, his ship got stuck in pack ice, crushing the endurance, leaving him and his 27 crew struggling to survive in the freezing cold, camped out on drifting ice. Everything Shackleton salvaged from his sunken ship fit into just three lifeboats. To survive and be rescued, Shackleton took a six-meter boat across 1,200 kilometers of water, was stranded on ice for 634 days, preserved the lives of his crew, and got them all back safe to England. His original dream ended in failure, but far greater was his astonishing leadership. A glorious failure. Now it's been 100 years. We wanted to fulfill his dream and with special meaning. My name is Patrick Burgle, and I am the great-grandson of Sir Ernest Shackleton. When the idea for this expedition came up, I was very excited. It is a unique story in that so many people are being brought together by this commemoration of the 1916 expedition. I would say that um, his spirit is eternal, it lives on, that's why we're all here. To have all of the crew members involved in one way or another, especially on the side of the car, is it's a fantastic idea. I think it's a lovely way to ensure that um, the crew continues. They, they continue the journey that they began 100 years ago. I feel well prepared. The crew and I have been training in Iceland and we've experienced some conditions which are in some ways similar to those that we're going to see down in Antarctica. So I think I'm ready. I think he'll be absolutely fine. He seems really well prepared and very confident. So yes, I think, I think it's going to go really well. I think Patrick will cope very well. It's in his blood. I'd like to say good luck, but do be careful. Yep, it's good, doesn't it? The, the snow is tens of meters deep, and uh, below that there's thousands of meter of meters of ice. So uh, the modifications have uh, only been uh, done so that the, the Santa Fe has the flotation needed to go on top of the snow and then, let's say, fly. It's a bit like a planing boat. You bring it up to, to travel on the surface rather than plow through. One of the hardest things about the expedition was just getting used to living uh, in the cold and moving and uh, trying to maintain uh, oneself when, you know, times were a moving experience to be at the same place uh, where my great-grandfather had been a hundred years ago. Having been on it and having I guess tasted a ten thousandth of the hardship that he and uh, his men experienced. But I think I would still congratulate him on being uh, an inspiration to anyone who knows his story. <laughs>